And now what I'd like to do is just to, uh, we've already given the award to our colleague from, from China, uh, but I'd like to invite now uh, Christopher to come back onto uh, the stage and to receive his award uh, from Jean-Pierre and uh, Gianluigi uh, for the work that they've done uh, in the GWL project. Round of applause. Just, just, just hang on to one side and then we'll, because we'll do a group photo at the end as well. And then the other award that we've just been listening to is uh, Florence de la Lande uh, from TrackSense uh, and the award for the project that they've been working on um, as well. Thank you very much indeed. And then we will, of course, ensure uh, with our colleagues uh, from Iran that the, that the, uh, the award for, uh, that for the... Uh, rent, do you want to accept it on their behalf and take it back? All right, OK. So our colleagues from RAI are going <laughs> to accept the award on behalf of, um, on behalf of um, our colleagues from Iran and make sure that it's taken back with them. Thank you very much. <laughs> Lars, we do a good photo. We'll, we'll just do a group photo now with all of the winners and our Chinese colleague as well. Where is he? Come on. Oh, yes. Well done, everybody. Lady in the middle, of course. Round of applause. Thank you very much. Excellent. Thank you very much indeed. That concludes the award ceremony, but with a few, a few closing, a few closing sentiments now from uh, from Gianluigi Castelli, um, who will just provide a few uh, closing remarks on, on behalf of. Uh, yeah, sure. yeah. Okay. Yes. Perfect. So, good afternoon, everybody. It's a great pleasure for me to be here today. It's uh, my first uh, occasion in, uh, in the role as chairman. And uh, uh, I just want to share with you some thoughts um, about digitalization mainly and the impact uh, it has on, uh, on our companies. Uh, of course, the main goal of our companies is to continue to build and innovate the railways infrastructure. Uh, and uh, I think it's very clear that digital technology is one of the most powerful levers we have to make it happen. Um, I had a very long uh, uh, digital career, as uh, in fact I am an IT guy by training and most of the time I spent uh, uh, in my career working on, on, on IT for large, uh, large companies. So I strongly believe digital is becoming a strategic imperative for all of us. Now here we are concluding our fourth Digital World Conference, uh, whose main objective is to share best practices among members and help to connect with startups and our large organization. Startups that can give an important contribution of complementary proposals for our business innovation <coughs> in terms of processes and, and services. Uh, when uh, uh, UIC uh, did set uh, up a dedicated worldwide platform in November 2015, the key idea was to build also a community capable of serving railways in order to make rails smarter in the coming years and decades. So I'm very happy to see that uh, uh, this uh, third edition of the UIC Digital Awards have awarded uh, startups coming from four different countries and covering uh, three regions, uh, Asia, Middle East, and Europe. Uh, in the projects that have been uh, awarded, but also the other projects submitted, we see how broad is the range of applications in the digital world and how pervasive digital technology is uh, uh, becoming in, uh, uh, even in our, in our industry. I think there is a strong similarity between electrification 
and digitalization in our industry. In fact, uh, digital technologies underpin all the other technological advances, some of which uh, uh, are already being de have already been deployed by most of the UIC members uh, worldwide uh, in a variety of areas, including automation, intermodal and logistics integration, operation management, maintenance, energy management, uh, customer centricity of passengers. But the exploitation of digital technology potential is introducing us into a new world. It's uh, providing us with new technical, organizational, and business capabilities that would anticipate and respond the, custom, the, change, the changing customer habits and needs with new tailored service. Uh, it also enables the creation of new business models. It put, uh, but in doing so, it put us on the same playground of emerging uh, new digital native competitors. Think of Uber. Airbnb, Expedia, Bookings, Flixbus, uh, Netflix, Amazon, MyTaxi, you name them. I just named a few of them. All of them are creating what now is called the platform-based services, but they have more profound impact on the economy because they are actually creating a new kind of economy, the economy of intermediation. They do this by managing the information required to connect the owner of assets who have invested capitals to build up these assets with customers willing to use the services based on those assets through digital platforms. These digital platforms are now uh, readily uh, available uh, using, uh, using available technology like, like cloud computing, pair-per-use service, high-speed mobile networks, and the smartphones that uh, each of us having in, in our pocket. And the capital needed to bring these new services to the market is ridiculously small, uh, as the operating costs are small, as they can easily scale up with a growing number of customers, thus of revenues. Therefore, the availability of capital to start such new businesses isn't a barrier anymore. This is good from one side because more people can become entrepreneurs and bring their ideas to the market. But uh, this has also another implication. This shifts the full entrepreneurial risks for the full delivery of services on the asset owners, while taking from them at marginal operating costs, as we have seen, a relevant part of the generated revenues, up to 25 to 30% thus eroding the margins of the actual provider of services, the car drivers, the bus owners, the hotel owners, movie production companies, music labels. All of them are deeply impacted in their bottom line results by this economy of intermediation. But these newcomers can do it because while most traditional industries discuss how to manage the, their digital transformation and struggle to elaborate a successful digital strategy, they operate already in what I call the post-digital era, where digital is so pervasive of their products and services that we can see they have reached a new stage of their own digital evolution. I think that they have become digital by nature. So we must be aware that this is uh, uh, becoming in the new competitive is, is, is coming in the new competitive arena for our businesses and uh, we need to develop a new mindset uh, and awareness about uh, the impact of digital technology that's why I would like to sincerely to thank all the startup who have applied to our contest submitting their projects as with this contribution with their contribution they are helping us opening up our minds the project we have seen, I'm sure, could help us not just in improving our services, but most importantly, would contribute to our own digital metamorphosis. I strongly believe that, paraphrasing uh, Charles Darwin, it is not the most digitalized of the company that survives, nor the most innovative, but the one that is the most digital by nature. Finally, I would like also to thank Amazon, who grants the winner with a $5,000 credit 
to be spent on Amazon Web Services. Amazon has supported our costs in such way already twice, and I hope this expression of active interest will go on in the future also. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, uh, Gianluigi. And just to close, just to close things out, uh, a few closing words from Jean-Pierre Lubinou uh, uh, before we uh, before we conclude. And just to remind you that the the buses uh, to the event later on this evening will be leaving from the front of the UIC, one at five o'clock and one at half past five. Yes, thank you, Simon. Closing words and closing thanks, actually, for this fourth uh, UIC digital conference. Uh, time time really goes by. Gianluigi, Chairman. Thank you very much for uh, your words uh, for the first time in this capacity in UIC, but it really uh, opens a very nice innovative future for this platform. You mentioned actually, yes, the uh, Amazon uh, contribution uh, to uh, our contest uh, with uh, $5,000 uh, uh, worth of services on their website for the winners. But I must say as well that all the participants, the 40 participants will also get $1,000 uh, worth of services on their platform So that's uh, from Amazon. So you can see that we have very strong partners. I see a few others in the rooms. Maybe that gives you ideas, but we are very happy also to work with Huawei and with Dassault Services on a number of other projects. So thank you from my side as well to all the participants and uh, congratulations. Thank you as well to the uh, speakers as well who came. Uh, uh, you know, you are many nationalities in this room. Uh, to really, uh, well, uh, testify of the work that we are doing and most of the time with yourselves. Thank you to the Master of Ceremony, Simon, okay, for a perfect English, okay, for... <laughs> okay. For, an, for an Englishman, I mean, of course. Uh, you know, a couple of, a couple of comments that uh, all these discussions are really uh, uh, giving me, and I would uh, put it in two... In two uh, different uh, sectors. One is attitude and the other is time. The attitude first. And I would use something which is very topical. You know, at this very moment in Katowice, there is the COP, COP, COP24. And COP usually uh, goes from uh, a lot of talks on mitigation goes to adaptation. Well, I think that our platform goes from mitigation to adaptation to demonstration. And we do this with POC, P-O-C. You see the, okay, COP, POC. So I think that this is the proof of the pudding, as you would say in English, uh, to really show that we mean business. This is not only to discuss about the beauty of digital revolution and uh, what it can bring to our uh, sector. It is really to try uh, modestly to bring some kind of added value. And I think this is very important as an attitude to remember that the digital platform of UIC is not here to uh, replace, replace or summarize all the CDOs of all our members, not at all. We don't have the capacity, we don't have the competence to do this, but we can bring through benchmarking, through federation of ideas, through opening doors and eyes to the uh, ecosystem, uh, such as the tours that we have organized so far, uh, a, a, a new approach, a new shared approach. And here we come again to the three words of our philosophy to open, to share, and to connect, which is really what UIC stands for. In terms of attitude, we also have demonstrated here, as you can see uh, from the evidence, that we have opened the pyramid. Okay? From this 40 papers, they are coming from 15 countries. The team here in UIC is 19 nationalities. In this room, you probably are 10 or 12 nationalities. And you come now more and more from outside of the railway sector. I don't say that uh, uh, this is the ultimate objective, but the mixity, I think, and the diversity that we can offer through this platform is certainly, uh, is certainly very important. You know, we, we have already some incubators that are working for some of our members, and uh, we want probably to, uh, uh, to develop uh, probably uh, a new idea, which I like much, not maybe for our biggest members, but maybe for our smaller members, is to become ourselves uh, a lab, a school lab. 
and I'm inviting some of the startups who have worked with us maybe to, to open a, a, a think uh, a approach, a, a think tank approach on this idea uh, to, uh, to develop this for our members as an added value. Now time, well, I was struck by what uh, Perinas showed us. You know, in four months, we came from the awareness of an idea of a contest to a POC, to a proof of concept, four months. And uh, when uh, some of the members here who know how much I sometimes, uh, 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 well, try to hurry up our long cycles and processes of decisions, which usually take eight month, 18 months uh, from a decision to uh, 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 the beginning of an action, I think we have here from outside of our pyramid the proof that we can do it if we want to change the processes. I think this is a message for some uh, uh, members tomorrow at the General Assembly. So thank you very much once again for, uh, for uh, all your uh, participation. Uh, I said that the digital platform is uh, bringing up ideas, sharing a couple of visions, and wait until tomorrow, if you are patient enough, to uh, share with us the sixth edition of our progress paper, because in digital we can only progress and progress together. I think it will be quite, uh, quite enlightening and interesting for all of you. It will be on our website for uh, those who are not members and accessible to everyone, of course. So if uh, you are very impatient, the buses that will go to the Automobile Club of France, Place de la Concorde, will leave. I think there is first bus at 5 and another one at 5.30. We have a, a, a quite high-level conference, and the theme of the conference is, remember? No? CCCOM. All right. Okay. Sustainable Integrated Connected International Chain of Mobility. We will have very high profile uh, speakers, including uh, Gianluigi Castelli, who will come with me uh, to, uh, to, to join this a little bit in advance. But you are all welcome to attend this conference in a very interesting uh, historical site in Paris and to stay with us if you want to spend the evening with us for the gala reception of this 90 third uh, General Assembly of UIC. You are our friends, you are uh, our guests for tonight if you want to stay with us. Thank you very much for your presence and, uh, and listening. Thank you. Thank you.